Scorpio. What is going on, baby? It's Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again one time for the one time. Yes, indeed. To let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of October. Shout out to all my October Scorpio babies. I am one. You know, I'm coming through on the 25th, baby. You already know what the deal is. All right. All right. You know what it is. So, to all my loves thank you so much for like sharing and subscribing and clicking this video thank you so much for showing me the love if you guys want to book a personal and private reading with scorpion red tarot just skip on past uh the booking page on my about tab do not book through there send me a direct message on instagram or you can email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com okay so um if there's anyone that would like to support the page number one you can always support by clicking that like button and the share button okay the share button baby hit the share button baby okay okay we are reloaded look all right and if there is anything else in you that where spirit moves you if you feel like you know i've helped and gave you any type of insight and you want to pour some love back into the page you can always do so by clicking the about tab you can book a reading. Um, there's the Cash App, there's the PayPal, and there is the Amazon wish list. I want to give a big shout out to everybody that has been given love and support through the Cash App and through the Amazon wish list. Um, that seems to be y'all's preferred method these days. Um, we got some new decks, y'all. We have the Crystal Unicorn Tarot deck, because you already know we Unicorn Power Ranger. Puss up in this motherfucker. All right, and then we also got the Moonology Tarot deck. So thank you guys so so much. Oh, and then we also have the Mermaids Tarot. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it is right here. Okay, so we got three new decks that just came through, giving a lot of love and light. And then um, we also have two more decks. Oh, we got two more decks. These decks were sent by the Amazon wish list and. Through the love that y'all been sending through Cash App, I, I made a purchase of two more decks. It's that uh, Mexican deck. It's uh, like the Day of the Dead. Sometimes I got it for Halloween. So whatever. Y'all will see it. Y'all will see it during the mid-month. So again, thank you guys so, so much for all the love and support. And you guys pouring that energy back into the page to give a new look and some new flavor like a lifesaver all up and through here so i thank you guys again for all the love and support scorpio let's get into this reading let's do you know a prayer you know how i do so father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of scorpio thank you so much for touching down in all of our lives showing your presence father god thank you so much for giving us strength and determination father god we're going to make from now on to the end of the year the best year that we've ever had in our life we done went through some real serious tower moments lord knows that retrograde try to throw us a couple of fades but we got back up like rocky balboa throwing them jabs you understand you already know how we do you already know how we do we ain't going out like no sucker father god you already know you ain't raised us like that mama ain't raised no punk bitch okay so and yes if y'all if y'all new to the page i do cuss and i and i pray god know me we like this, so y'all look. Don't don't be down there in the comments talking trash and stuff like that. But like I said, Mama ain't raised no punk bitch. We be getting up out of there, okay? Anytime we got some drama, we getting up out of there, okay? So, Father God, just know that we reloaded, Father God. Thank you so much for just keeping us ahead of the tide, Father God. Thank you so much for allowing us to plant new seeds. And the only thing you asked us to have is the faith of the mustard seed. And you will pull us through any adversity that we've ever experienced, Father God. We always come out and we triumph on top. So thank you so much for making us Scorpio. They talk a lot of shit about us, Father God. But listen. One thing you cannot test, one thing you cannot be is a Scorpio. So shout out to all my Scorpios. Shout out to everyone who is celebrating a birthday during October. And like I said, in fall, we're going to have it all, baby. It's listen to me, Tonita. We're going to tear it up this season, okay? I you reloaded? 
give me some guidance, Father God. Thank you again for being in our life every step of the way. Give us guidance and thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance for my Scorpios for the month of October. Thank you so much, Father God. Let's get into it, okay? So I'm going to start off with this Moonology Oracle deck. This is my new deck. So let's start off with this energy here, okay? So let's see what we got. Father, give us guidance for my Scorpios. All right, for October. Thank you so much. All right. Give me guidance for my Scorpios. One more shuffle, okay? All right, give me guidance for my Scorpios. Y'all hear Hot Girl Summer in the back? Did y'all have a Hot Girl Summer Scorpio? Come on. Give me guidance for my Scorpios, please. Miss Moon. Moon phase guidance. What's going on in October for my Scorpios? Ain't nothing trying to pop out. Oh, okay, here we go. Woo! We got prosperity lies ahead, couple. <laughs> Yes. Ooh, ooh, you, ooh, you, Scorpio, you, baby, you, baby, yes, with that Taurus, that new moon in Taurus, yes, God, you won't ignore us, okay, y'all know that's my slogan for Taurus, I don't know if y'all be, you know, watching the other signs, but honey, come on, Taurus, you would not ignore us, it says prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus, I accept that in the name of Jesus. And then it says the South Note, don't let your past hold you back. Now, come on now. Come on now. What's your South Note signs? What's your South Note signs? Put it in the chat. Put it in the chat, okay? A lot of green. There's a lot of green. There's a lot of evergreen, honey. Whatever type of abundance that you have, like, <laughs> Whatever seed you have sown, baby, it has grown. Say it with me. Whatever seeds you have sown, it has grown. You have moved past whatever lessons that it was for you to learn in your South Note, okay? Whatever lessons it was learnt in the South Note that you had to transmute that and push, push past that so that you could do what you're supposed to do in your North Note to be on your life path you have accomplished that okay you have accomplished moving past your struggles or whatever it was that you had to overcome in that self no energy whatever that's that past energy is you've released it and let it go and now you are soaring in your life purpose and you are seeing nothing but blessings evergreen and abundance i accept that in the name of jesus i accept thank you I don't know about you, but I damn sure do. I accept. Let's get it in. Let's get it in. Oh, okay. Okay. I was, oh, okay. No, hold on. Let me. <laughs> I done got excited, Scorpio. I done got excited. Let me find out what type of unicorn energy we in first. Hold on now. Prosperity lies ahead. Don't let your past hold you back. Okay. We going to keep moving forward. Okay. Y'all, I'm getting excited. Honey. I done blew my goddamn candle out, Father God. Listen, we done blew that shit out. We said, uh-uh, it's time to get a new phase. Okay. Let's see what this is. Oh, adventure in some mo green. Some mo green. Pass the dochi to the left hand side. Pass the dochi to the left. All my smokers say, pass the dochi to the left hand side. Y'all out there smoking that rapper weed. Yes. Y'all taking a venture. <laughs> it's a lot of evergreen, y'all. Pass the dochi to the left and die. Hey. Pass the dochi to the left. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all got me excited. I'm sorry. Adventure. It says, dare to do things differently. Manifest your travel dreams. Move to a new low freaking K, Sean. How many of y'all just moved? 
See, the thing, y'all, listen, I do a lot of readings. If you guys want to book a personal or private reading, click that About tab on my YouTube page and send me a message on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, send me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com. How many of you that I don't know about already have moved? Because if y'all are about to move, guess what? I'm about to move, too. I am about to move, too. So this resonates with me more than you know it. I am moving on to bigger and better things in the name of Jesus. And let me try to tell you something. This south note right here, the don't let the past hold you back. It was a big struggle for me to kind of just let go and release and come to terms where it's time for me to move on. Like I've done everything that I was supposed to do here in this chapter. And it's time to turn the page and let's start creating new memories you guys so don't let you holding on to and you know Scorpios we are fixed signs you know when we comfortable in our way we don't like change we really really do not like change so some of us are realizing that in order for us to really be in that ten of cups fulfillment seriously a lot of us are on that nine of cups fulfillment because we are self-fulfilled by our own achievements, by our own blessings. Like, we have really overcome a lot of things and we have shown and proved. When these tower moments come, yeah, it hurts. Yeah, it's a lot to deal with. But we are not scared to continue fighting. Like, we, mama ain't raised no punk bitch. Like, when I say that, I mean that shit. Mama ain't raised no punk bitch. Ain't no punk bitch in Scorpio. We will get the fuck up and fight. You know what I'm saying? It's, when we wrap our mind around the fact that even though we don't like change a lot of things needed to change and it's going to change for the better we just got to change that pessimistic thinking around not wanting to have to do this do you understand what i'm saying and a lot of things that we had to let go is our location, certain people that weren't um, serving us no more, some jobs that weren't service, servicing us anymore, some friends, just like a lot of shit, just even decluttering um, a lot of our possessions that had sentimental value that was just creating clutter in our house. We had to release it and let it go so God could serve us something new. You understand? So shout out to everyone who, as hard as it was to let go of these things that we have just been comfortable and been used to and that we didn't want to change and let go. Shout out to everybody because, listen, prosperity lies ahead, baby. Listen, Taurus, you will not ignore us. Listen, we will not be ignored. We will not be ignored. If you are in my Divine Feminine group, you already know. I already told you. 2019 was the takeover. The wait is over. We was not sitting around waiting for our blessings to come. We had to not let our past hold us back. Not be overcome by things that had just become monotonous in our life. And we had to move past that and let that shit go. And now everything... All of those seeds that we have planted, they're starting to grow and they're starting to show up in our life. And we are so thankful for being brave enough to go on this adventure and trust that God knows what he's doing in our life. You see that sun shining, baby? You see that sun shining right there by my thumb? That's that happiness. That's that joy. That's that prosperity. Listen, I'm seeing that five of pentacles in reverse, baby. The hard times is over, honey. The blessings are here and the hard times are over. Shout out to everyone that really understood the only thing God was asking us to have was the faith of a mustard seed. The only thing he's asking us to do is to trust. Trust. Listen. Prosperity lies ahead. Listen. Come on now. I'm loving it. I am loving it. Come on. Come on. Let's get into this. Let's clarify this adventure. It says, dare to do things differently. Manifest your travel dreams. Move to a new location. I already told y'all, it's about all new everything. All new everything. Forget that job. Forget that old house. Forget that man. Forget that old plan, baby. Okay? Forget it. It's time for new adventures. It's time for new memories. It is that new chapter of our life, y'all. Okay, I know a lot of y'all just hit that dirty 32. Listen, come on, mama. Come on. We got the star. Oh, and the wheel. We got 
the star card and the wheel of fortune. Baby, are you living in your purpose? Are you living in your purpose? The star cards represent someone having such strong amount of faith. It's like you are walking around with a glass of faith water in your goddamn uh, your book bag. You know like how you got the book bag with the little um holder on the side where you could put a little a bottle of water. It's like you walking around with a glass of faith water on your bag. Okay? So anytime you feeling a little stag, anytime you feeling a little stagnation, you replacing it with that faith baby. That faith juice. That abundant juice. That love juice. That life juice, honey. And you are called in all of your blessings, baby. They got that fixed energy right there with that wheel of fortune. When I told you, baby, <laughs> Yes, God. Yes, ma'am, Miss Pam. I do like green eggs and ham. I like this energy, y'all. Y'all like this energy? I'm ready for the adventure, y'all. God said we got many blessings in many forms. In many forms. And like I said, Taurus, she would not ignore it. Taurus is a fixed sign, fixed energy, too. Huh? 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 Come on. Come on. We done went into that spiritual pool and we done got us some faith juice and we done poured some of that into the 3D so you can see me. We done poured it into the 3D so you can see me, honey. They see you shining. The angels see you shining. They said you put your time in. They see you shining. They said you put your time in. And it's time for you to get these blessings you done worked hard for, baby. Come on, Phoenix. Come on, Phoenix. Woo! We got the Ten of Cups in reverse. Looks like some of us have offloaded houses. We have offloaded un unnecessary relationships, okay? I don't feel like we're crying about it. We're not crying about it. That was actually the adventure. That was the adventure. Like, actually realizing that This thing that once brought me happiness and joy and things like that, it's not necessarily the same story anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's not the same story no more. And instead of trying to keep holding on to something that is no longer fulfilling to us, that is not bringing us happy. And you know what? Forget about me. What's best for my children? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, I know for me in my situation, um... Me breaking up with my kid's father, that was the best thing for the both of us because he needed to go and grow and I needed to go and grow. And even though we might bump heads from time to time, it's not as often when we were living with each other. My kids are happy. I'm less stressed. I'm happy. He's less stressed. He's happy. We're all doing our own life. My kids get to be with him. My kids get to be with me. My kids get the best of both worlds. So, all endings don't necessarily mean that it's as catastrophic as it seems. It's only as catastrophic as you make it. And if you honestly are looking at this like, it's the end of this chapter and I'm starting a new blessing. A new blessing like, I want y'all to start visualizing what that new house look like. I want y'all to start visualizing... Ugh, visualizing what that new life look like. You know? What does that house look like? What does that life look like without the burdens of whatever it was that you were carrying and that you were trying to hold on and keep trying to fix? Because, you know, we're that fixed energy. We don't like change. You know what I'm saying? We really do not like change. What is this? That nine of swords. Like, whatever was going on in this house and this home environment. Okay? And if you're single, it don't even necessarily have to be the fact that it has something to do with a man or a woman. It could just necessarily be the house that you were living in was too much of a burden. Uh, too many things were breaking. And you just got tired of fixing it. And this shit was a goddamn nightmare to you. And you just like, let me just cut my losses and just get rid of all of this shit. And just start all new everything. You understand? Because it was giving you night terrors. I mean, it was giving you stress. It was giving you anxiety. It was giving you a mental burden. You were not able to see... What your life will be outside of this confinement of this situation that really wasn't comfortable for you. Because as you can see, this person is like kind of in a state of misery, misery mentally, you know. So having to release things that were unfulfilling emotionally and mentally 
and recognizing that. What is this? The seven of pentacles. You got tired of waiting. You got tired of feeling like, I keep going back to the table. I'm putting my effort in. I'm trying to plant these seeds, but it don't ever amount to the effort that I'm putting into it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, why am I out here tilling this grass, putting these seeds in the soil, watering it, giving it sun, giving it love, giving it light, but it's it's not growing. It's not growing. So you guys were, let me plug in my charger, y'all. Y'all were in a situation where it didn't matter how much effort you were putting into it. It just wasn't growing. It wasn't showing you the results that, you know, you've been striving for. What is going on, y'all? Okay. Sorry, y'all. You wanted something that was going to pay off and that was going to be worth your investment. What's this, the high priestess in reverse? So you guys might be holding out on this information that you're about to take this adventure. I feel like you got, that's the typical Scorpio energy. It's like, and again, what I've been saying in my collective readings is, shh, be quiet. Tonight is the night that we ride. You understand? Be quiet. It's time to be quiet because if you tell everybody Every little thing that you're thinking, everything that you're doing, they know what to attack. I really do. Scorpio knows that this prosperity is coming. Scorpio has got past the past and then not letting it hold him back. There's a lot of green going on. There's a lot of smoke in the air. I feel like Scorpio created this smoke because... This level of abundance that is about to come to them, I don't think that they want everyone in their business because if these people knew how fulfilled Scorpio was spiritually, they would try to break their spirit. If they knew the fortune and the blessings that was coming to Scorpio, they would try to talk them away from it or try to make them feel like they weren't worthy of it. And that's why Scorpio with this high priestess in the reverse is being very secretive and possibly a little bit manipulative, you understand? Because Scorpio found a way out of this situation that, again, was not fulfilling for them. This is a divorce. This is an ending. This is a complete letting go of something that was an emotional burden to them. Again, was a mental burden to them. Again, they were tired of putting the time and effort in again and never getting the results that they put the energy in. So, Scorpio is playing a little mind fuckery with y'all. They're allowing people to think that they are weak. You know? It's that po 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 poker phase. Okay? It's that poker phase. Scorpio got that poker face on. Because like I told you, don't ever think. See, Scorpio don't never show their hands like that. We're very secretive. We do not like everyone being in every little crack and crevice of our goddamn business. Whatever it is that you learned, whatever it is that you earned, you are keeping your hand hidden. Look, you're keeping your cards hidden. You are letting people see what they want to see. You are letting people to think that you're distressed and you're bothered and you're worried about this breakup and about this move and about, you know, you're letting people think that you are distraught. You are letting people think that you are burdened and that you are still waiting, you know, <laughs> and you're not like you are not, you're not as weak. As you are allowing people to see. I mean, you are, I, I, it's, I'm, I'm allowing people to think and see what I want them to think and see. Because if I let you know my every move, y'all motherfuckers would get in the way. And ain't nobody getting in the way of my blessings. Like, literally, these people that are around Scorpio, that are seeing whatever's going on, they're not going to find out about this adventure that Scorpio went on and how things turn out for them. If Scorpio ever lets, like, I honestly think whatever type of prosperity, whatever abundance, whatever this is that is coming to to you even when it comes like you still might not let people like you certain things are going to just be plain and obvious where people can see oh well Scorpio done came up Scorpio's doing better like I didn't even know that 
Scorpio had got a new job. Or I didn't even know that Scorpio had came into this money. Or I didn't even know that Scorpio had bought a new car. Or I didn't even know that Scorpio got a new man. I didn't even know Scorpio married a new woman. Like, you... It's certain things that it's just obvious that you can't hide. But there's a lot of stuff that you're holding back. Like, you are only letting people see and believe what you want them to see and believe, you know? Because we're fixed energy. People think that we're fixated on holding on to things. So, okay. We're going to let you think what you what you want to think you understand what i'm saying only thing you can do is watch my moves baby watch my moves the king of spades in the three of in the three of clubs here hmm. so yes some of you guys now you see this is stallion baby this is st listen look at that stallion look at that stallion baby you see that king of spades you guys could have possibly met someone from a foreign country someone with a really nice Jamaican accent, Trinidadian accent, uh, Peruvian, uh, 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 be speaking to you in that good Peruvian uh, uh, tongue, or uh, 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 Dominicano, Mexicano. Y'all done met someone that speaks a foreign language. Someone that's very, very exotic. This is, a, okay, so the king of spades, because I'm not, now this king of spades with this three of clubs here, this is someone that you could have met at work, okay? This is someone that you could be working with to make a business endeavor um, that has something to do with your work environment. Uh, I feel like y'all are making big business moves. Y'all could ever be doing something in a foreign country or you're dealing with someone from a foreign country. Someone that's exotic or some type of exotic travel or something like that. Something like that. But the king of spades is also someone that is a, a judge. A judge. So you guys could have just recently um, received a judgment in regards to a work endeavor. That's going to pay off and turn into a lot of good fortune for you. Um, hmm. It's stained glass. It's like. It's like. Uh, stained glass. It's like church or something like that. Uh, well, what am I trying to say here? I feel like. I feel like that's giving me hierophant. It's like y'all learned. I'm trying to tell y'all y'all learned something. Y'all learned something with this high priestess energy right here. And y'all holding secrets. Like someone taught you a different way. It's like I don't know how y'all do shit here. But this is how we do shit in my country. Like you know what I'm saying? Like someone that has like for, ten of spades. Someone taught you how to turn lemon into lemonades. It's like, this could be someone here that's a very good judge of character. Or like I said, this could be a judge. This could be a judgment where it's like y'all are having to work certain things out in court. And you're getting some type of counsel. And you're going through some type of classes or something like that. Uh, it's like someone is teaching you something. Someone is teaching you how to flip a hardship into royalty. Do you understand what I'm saying? And whoever this is, it's like they came from a very rough upbringing. Like they came from a foreign country that was probably very, 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 very poor. And they traveled to America or they traveled to wherever y'all are at. For a better life. And they probably just came. To this country with like $300 in their pocket. And they turned $300 into $3 million. Do you understand what I'm saying? And they're trying to teach you. How to take a situation. Where it was like complete financial ruin. Or complete emotional ruin. Where there was worry. Where there was stress. Where there was anxiety. Uh, where you were feeling at your lowest. And they taught you how to turn it into like stained glass, like a biblical masterpiece or just like, like a saint. I'm feeling like a saint came into y'all's life or something. And that's that same fucking horse. Look, look, you see this horse and this horse. 
And what the fuck is this? What is this, y'all? What is that? Is that a bottle? Is that a bottle? It looks like an ancient artifact or some shit like that. I don't know what the hell that is. It looks like one of them really expensive, like Louis the Thirteen bottles or some shit. It's like y'all turn something that could have destroyed you into Louis the Thirteen. You know how much Louis the Thirteen is? That's like a thirty-five hundred dollar bottle of fucking cognac. You understand what I'm saying? It's like. Yeah, the king, look, the king of clubs. The king of clubs like this is uh, someone that is extremely action-oriented. This is someone that is like, the king of clubs is someone that loves sports. This is someone that is extremely active. They're popular, very, very popular, like the talk of the town. Everyone wants to be around this person. This is like the it person in the community. Like all the ladies love him. Okay. All the ladies love LL Cool J or some type of shit. Always licking your lips. You know what I'm saying? Like very extremely attractive. You know, like you are a very attractive commodity. You are like Louis the 13, like a fine bottle of Louis the 13. Do you understand? I feel like the aging process, even though it was a strenuous weight but the quality that it produced the quality that it produced I feel like someone had to teach you how to use your faith in a turn of hardship into a blessing a million times over and this is something that was taught this is something that was learned. This is something that was gained through hard work and endurance. Do you understand what I'm saying? I feel like you guys were educated. You were educated. Because like I told you, look at look at all of this shit over here that y'all went through. Like, y'all went through... Y'all went through a very tough situation. And I feel like this is something that's seen you go through a tough situation, Scorpio. And they said, man, I was there before. I was there before. Let me show you. I really do feel like like a hierophant, like someone taught you a different quality of life. The two of clubs. The six of diamonds. Oh, Lord. Look at that. I'm trying to tell y'all someone is teaching you like some like ancient law or I have never even seen a unicorn look like this. This is like some type of ancient like hieroglyphic like Mayanese something like this is like the six of diamonds oh Jesus why is my brain going blank hold on y'all let me look and see what the damn six of diamonds mean honey baby because I don't want to get y'all no I don't want to get y'all no no I Yes, okay. I told y'all that y'all were being quiet. Okay, so first off, the two of clubs means um, having two different options, two different, it's like a decision to make in regards to work relations. Do you understand? It's like you went from over here to over here, and it's like you have to kind of sort things out and try to figure out what the best action is for you to stay or to go to something better. Do you understand? And that's why I told you like someone came to you where you have a better way at life that you could achieve. But I don't think that you guys seen it. I feel like y'all were going to just settle in this old way of thinking, in this old way of being. And someone came and, and added their self into the equation and said, look. Let me show you how to make this work for you. Let me show you how to make this work for you. Okay? And now that you got these two options, I don't think that everyone knows that you have this other choice that you could kind of play against this situation to make it turn into something more profitable, something better for you. The Six of Diamonds 
represents quiet, timid, shyness, lack of communication, jealousy, possessiveness, psychology, social service, science, technology, computer, information systems, diagnostic equipment, a surge of energy, vitality, power, electrical shock, horsepower, kinetic energy, nervous energy, adrenaline, adrenaline rush. Okay, baby, come on, Twister. Hold on, shot Town, shot Town in the building, okay? Who know about Twister? That adrenaline rush, okay? Doom, 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 boom, doom, doom, doom. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all are being quiet. And I feel like y'all anxiety is rushing because it's like you want to like share what you've learned, but you can't. You got to keep quiet. You got to like you playing coy, you playing shy, you playing timid. Because if you was to tell everybody your next move, I feel like if people would try to play your cards against you. And you know how Scorpios are like sometimes... We can overthink things. We can self-sabotage. Do you understand what I'm saying? And if you put too many people into this play, if you put too many people into this play and let them know what you're, if you let the right hand know what the left hand is doing, they might say little things because diamonds also means like thinking and communication and things like that. If you let people... Look, and then the six of clubs, like, yes, I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all made y'all next move, y'all best move. Oh, this looks like a young baby. You changed your work environment. Some of you guys are about to change a job. Or y'all are changing your actions and the way that you were working with people. And you are starting off as a fresh new baby. This looks like a newborn baby. Like, you are newborn. You are newborn. Like, you guys have made a successful change in regards to your business that bought you a lot of love a lot of caring a lot of generosity like you have stepped into a brand new obligation where it's a baby it's a newborn and you're learning how to take care of it and i'm trying to tell y'all someone is teaching you how to turn your stress into blessings and to not look at things so harshly like I feel like another damn six is going to come out and y'all know on my other deck it says six 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 does not mean like a bad omen or anything it means to stop looking at shit in a pessimistic way and look at things with a brighter perspective like stop allowing just because certain things happen in your life to allow it to take you down and think the worst into a situation only think love light and positivity into everything you know what i'm saying yeah the jack of clubs is a lot of action cards clubs are action cards this is work this is being sporty this is being adventurous like honestly so the jack of clubs is Someone that is young, someone that is vital, someone that is fruitful, someone that is giving in regards to, like I said, their action and what they're willing to put on the table. So, I, this is someone at your job. This is someone that you work with or someone that you will be working with. This is that third party, okay? Remember, you had two different choices to make. A third person came in and showed you how to make a, a change, a biblical change. I don't know why I keep saying a biblical change, but it's like someone showed you how to use your faith and to use that to, manif to manifest your blessings. Yeah. So it's like, it's like you need to be quiet. You got to be quiet. You got to play coy. You got to play timid. And it's like, I want you to not to stress and to worry about what's taking place. Because if you do, it's going to bring you a lot of stress and anxiety. And then you will start self-sabotaging right here with this four spades, you guys. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let me read y'all the four spades. Even though I, hold on, let me see. Yeah, yeah. 
If you can see it from the front, but you can see it from the back. The four space represents illness, repercussions, the end, oh, the need for caution, the sick bed, a hospital room, a coffin, a jail cell, rest, confinement, exhaustion, the need to take it easy, moving at a slower pace, bedridden, feeling fenced in, staying at home, an unhealthy situation, feeling trapped, feeling sick, feeling tired. So what this is saying is you have two different decisions. Please be quiet about what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that you are being resourceful in everything that you're doing and you're actually studying these new opportunities that are coming to you. Continue to move forward with that six of clubs because you're new to whatever this new thing is you have someone that works in the same arena with you that is literally about to lead you and show you how to do this because this person has been already in this position for a while i'm trying to tell you this is someone who's already been in this position and they're trying to tell you that you need to rest and take it easy and just be quiet about your blessings because if people don't know what's coming towards you they don't know what to attack do you understand and prosperity lies ahead. Do not allow your past to hold you back. You need to make this move, take this adventure, but you have to do it with caution. You have to protect what this is, you know, because what you're about to get is like something on a bottle of Louis the 13 level. Like, yes, this was a complete financial ruin. I feel like some of you guys could have lost the business. You guys could have lost the business and somehow recoup the assets that you could because that's also the um the seven of pentacles like cutting your losses before you lose everything you know what i'm saying so you could have cut your loss from a business and before it went belly up and grab what you could have grabbed and someone showed you how to invest it forward to make to you know what i'm saying to do it the right way you didn't just have that one option because with that two of clubs right there, I feel like someone was about to just like let it all fall down on them and just, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just like, okay, that's just like say someone, how can I say this? That's just like say someone was about to go into foreclosure or their house is in foreclosure, right? But instead of looking on the market to see how much your house is worth versus how much you owe to see if you have equity instead of allowing them to take your house find out if you have equity in your house i don't give a fuck if you just walk away with twenty thousand dollars i'd rather walk away with twenty thousand dollars to give me some money to be able to make my next move the best move versus them kicking me out of me and my family just being out on the street with nothing do you understand what I'm saying? So this is someone that's been in this place before. They're telling you, listen, it's time for a life review. I need you to take stock. I need you to do inventory of everything you have. And we're going to figure out how to make this move the next move. You know what I'm saying? And right now it's time to move. Listen, it's, it's time to move. Don't just sit there and let everything fall the fuck on you. You understand what I'm saying? You have so... And, and it's like someone is so blessed and has a great opportunity in front of them and didn't even see it until someone showed them. And now that you listening, you planted that seed, baby, you about to get you a bottle of Louis 13, honey. You about to get you a bottle of Louis 13. What they're just telling you is to be quiet about your blessings and whatever the fuck this seed, because this will of fortune is turning in your favor. This because only thing he asked was the faith of a mustard seed and you have shown and proved. Life review. Archangel, Archangel Jermichael, it says take, in, I just said take inventory. It says take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. So if that job wasn't working out for you and it was giving you a whole bunch of bullshit, don't just sit there and wait for them to fire you when you know motherfuckers is working against you and it's a whole bunch of drama. If someone is offering you another job, go for it. If you see there's another opportunity on the table go for it don't just sit there and allow shit to just happen when you have other opportunities so this could be someone telling you listen take inventory of what you got listen you smart as shit you got a college degree you got a car you got this you got that okay i know someone that's hiring over here let's do it are you are you gonna put the application or are you just gonna sit here and look stupid you know what i'm saying clairvoyance 
Some of y'all have the gift of clairvoyance. It says, I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so that you can clearly see heavenly love. Listen, so that you can clearly see the other opportunities, the blessings. So, I mean, shit. This three, and, and, and maybe that's why I, I kept saying biblical guidance, or I was saying biblical change, or something about biblical, but it's like, it's literally like spirits, spirit pushed you, spirit pushed you along this adventure to get your self aligned and get yourself balanced because I really do feel like someone was just about to lay there and just let everything fall on them until someone showed them a better way and showed them that you actually have a lot more prioritize it says focus on your highest priorities it will get you organized and motivated you guys prioritize you just had to take a life review you just had to look and just Pay attention to everything that you had. Be thankful for everything that you had. Listen, brilliant idea. Brilliant idea. And then what is this? Nature. It says, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action and bring this idea into fruition. God gave you the gift of sight. And the six of diamonds, that could also mean to me. Like you getting spiritual downloads. You getting spiritual downloads. Because you can't hear spirit unless you're quiet and you're being still. You know, if you got so much chaos going in your brain, you can't hear. You know, you can't hear. Oh, and it says nurture. Look, you see how the angels are nurturing you? Like I, you guys have been rebirthed. Like you guys have legitimately have closed an old chapter and you are walking into this new phase of your life as a baby like that's what i'm trying to tell y'all y'all are getting that structure that biblical guidance y'all are being taught y'all being you're learning things like i said and you're hiding what you're learning from people because you don't want people in your business and you're allowing people to think that you're weak you're allowing people to think that you're distraught you're allowing people to think that you are just letting shit overgrow because the seven of pentacles is like, okay, you planted all of these vegetables and stuff, but you ain't been watching it. You ain't been taking care of it. You just been letting shit grow and rot out. But you didn't like seriously with the high priestess in reverse. You didn't. You grabbed a couple of squashes and some oranges and some pears and some potatoes or whatever the fuck it was that you need. You put that shit in your chariot on the low low. Because you got tired of waiting and you dipped out. And everyone's like, well, where's Scorpio go? You don't see these vegetables rotting. They ain't taking care of their yard and stuff. It's because you moved to a new yard. And motherfuckers are still thinking that you taking care of this old shit. And, it's, and they thinking that you just, they're thinking that you are like letting everything go to shit. And it's, it, you're not. You not you like you're not like they don't even fucking know that you move like they don't even know what your move is because you're not telling them and that's the smartest thing that you could do and that's why spirit has been pushing this message to me to tell y'all to be fucking quiet about the moves that y'all are making everybody don't need to know your motherfucking business if they don't know your business they don't know what to attack it says at you as you nurture a child you nurture your own inner child both activities are important for you right now. So, I just, um, some of y'all are earth angels. Some of you guys are earth angels. And God is like nurturing you. You have been reborn. You are shining. You are in your alignment. Spirit is nurturing you because you're a unicorn. You're different. You're not like everyone else. You see, you got four angels on top of you. The number four represents stability. It represents like sturdiness. You know what I'm saying? It represents foundation. It represents order. It represents management, problem solving, being adaptable, hard work, you know? So a lot of you guys might be feeling very tired lately and y'all might be just 
quiet in general and you don't know why you've been so tired and you don't know why you've been so quiet and you don't know why you don't feel like hanging out with your friends no more you don't know why you ain't been doing the things that you've been doing it's because like when people have newborn babies the only thing that they do the first couple of weeks is sleep your spirit has been reborn your spirit is being nurtured that's why you've been getting all of these y'all might be seeing things you guys might be hearing things you might you guys might know things out of the blue that you're like how the fuck did i even know that that was about to happen it's because you guys are aligned in a different manner with spirit and spirit is nurturing you spirit is carrying you like literally because i don't even think you're at the stage in this new phase of your life where you know how to walk yet you are being taught you are learning how to walk you are learning how to be this angel, this earth angel. Like you have a mission. God has a job for you in this new phase of your life. But you had to move in order to be able to receive that nurturing abundance. And whatever idea that y'all got cooking up, it's a brilliant idea. Like act on it, act on it. God gave you that gift of sight for a reason. That's why you were able to see this uh, new adventure, this new move, whatever it is that you're doing. Like continue to work towards it. Continue to sleep and get your spiritual download. So, you know, spirit is teaching you what to do. Give me guidance. October for my Scorpios. I don't know why. It just seemed like don't nothing will come out. The Queen of Air in reverse. So, hmm. The strength in reverse. So with this Queen of Air in reverse and the strength in the reverse here. That's telling me that some of you guys are like scared and you guys are nervous. Like you guys... It's like you don't really know your truth, meaning this is so new to you. You don't know what all of this means. You don't know if you're going to have the strength to carry out this adventure. You don't know how successful you will be. You don't know how successful that you will be because you've never done this before. The page of water in reverse. It's, it's like you don't. It's like, if you could communicate to spirit and tell them how you feel, and that's probably what I have priestess in reverse is up there. Um, it's like, you're, you're putting off to people like you're, you feel weak, you feel unsure of yourself, like you don't know your own power, you don't know your own strength. And maybe that's the truth. Here go the tower. Here go the tower, like. It's like if you could communicate your feelings and let spirit know how you feel, you would tell them like, I don't feel confident in me going on this journey and this adventure with this queen of air because I really don't, I really don't know what it is that you want me to do. I don't know if I feel strong enough, you know what I'm saying? Because I've never did this before and I'm not sure if I might not run back to that old pattern and that old lifestyle that I used to have because I'm, I'm being honest. I don't really love. Like I'm not feeling the requited love for all of this change that is coming. Because listen, Scorpio doesn't like change. Queen of water. There you go. You know what I'm saying? But it's like. At the end of the day, you still want to keep yourself afloat. You still want to keep yourself afloat, but it's like you don't, you don't feel comfortable. I'm really getting that on a high level. Like you really just don't feel comfortable. Oh, you're stepping into a, a, a position of power with this emperor. Like you guys are becoming a boss. You guys are becoming a leader. And what is this? The five of earth in reverse. I told y'all, y'all are coming into some big money and y'all are coming into some big money because... You are put in this position of power. Oh, Lord Jesus. You guys are put in a position of power. Um, 
The Emperor is the number four in the tarot deck, and that's a major arcana. And then, like I told you, you got those four angels, and they're nurturing you. You become this earth angel. You are in a position of leadership, in a position of power. And I feel like you guys were always in a place of lack before, and you guys are not in a place of lack anymore. And it's like, once you kind of get used to, like, a lack mentality, sometimes it's like hard to think outside of that box or something like that and it's like you don't have to think like that anymore like the worst is over but it's like i don't it's like it's hard for you to believe and it's like i'm just so used to struggling i'm so used to always worrying i'm so used to just things just like a monkey face always being thrown at me i don't know what it feels like i don't it's like i just i feel like you guys are just worried about how you're performing this leadership role, but I don't know what you're worrying about. Like, you shouldn't even have a mindset of lack. Like, all of that hard shit is over. It's over. What is this? Completion. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all completed a damn phase. Understand that it's completed and it's done, and you can only be as confident and as successful as if you tell yourself in your mind if you keep telling yourself that you don't know what you're doing and you're not sure of yourself if you keep telling yourself that you that you weak and you think that you're going to fall into temptation and go back into your old ways if you're telling yourself that you're not loving this sudden change that came into your life with this um tower car then everything this is this this shit right here someone about to self-sabotage yourself when you just completed a cycle in a phase in your life listen nature Okay, spirit just puts you in an arena where you can be true to your nature, true to your being, where you can really thrive and really, really grow. Health. That's your brain. That's your thinking. You need to, and I'm going to put this in the center right here. You need to have a more healthier mindset and understand. The only thing I'm seeing is a whole bunch of damn purple. All I'm seeing is purple, the third eye chakra right here. Crown chakra is understanding. That means I understand. It's helping you with the healing of personal losses and grief. So the things that you've lost, okay, you were in a worker phase. You were working for people. You lost a position where you were working your ass off for someone else to be blessed, to work for yourself and be more abundant than you've ever been in your life. You are able to be true to your nature, to who you are, a more healthier environment. I need you to get some understanding about that. In that third eye chakra, I need you to see that. You being able to see that third eye chakra encourages you to open and have honest communication and speak in your mind's eye. You know? Time out. It's time for you to literally take a time out and wasn't listen that for space it's time for you to take a time out right now and because i really I, i'm scared some of y'all might try to self-sabotage when god is putting you in his leadership role to be able to make major moves and it's because you're scared and someone's letting their insecurity fuck with them and i don't like that i don't like that because with that, that strength in the reverse, that's the devil pulling on you, telling you that you're not smart enough, that you're not wise enough, that, you know, even though God's about to give you all of these major blessings that you don't like it and you feel uncomfortable, like, that's bullshit. New beginnings. Come on. I, listen, I don't know what else to tell you, baby. You need to wrap your fucking mind and be rooted about that it's time to start over. Y'all just don't like fucking change and you need to get the fuck over it. You need to get over it because this is a completion to bullshit that was keeping you unhappy, that was keeping you stagnant. Do you understand? That was keeping you stagnant, baby. You have to have a more healthy mindset about your blessings and what God is doing in your life. Do not let your past hold you back. Listen. South Node. Y'all need to find out what y'all sign is in your South Node and read up on that and figure out what your negative pull is because your north note is your life path is your life's destiny this south note energy is trying to keep you held down into 
past life energy and you need to move past that and move into this prosperity prosperity lies ahead it ain't in the past it lies ahead so you need to stop you let time out it's time for you to time that shit out you 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 letting your past and shit hold you back because your past is trying to tell you that you're not good enough here look that knight of cups listen put that mask on so motherfuckers can't see your face right now you need to put a poker face on and you need to make yourself on the other side of that goddamn river okay it's time to stop standing over there where you at where you standing at where you at is not where you meant to be it's time for you to reach the other side and it's time for you to put your poker face on and it's time to get moving do you understand what i'm saying time out all that negative thinking time out all that self-saboteur energy stop thinking pessimistic do you understand what i'm saying i need you to put your heart in and i need you to gallop fast and quickly and move towards your heart's desires because it's coming towards you regardless if you like it or not now when it gets here if you want to fucking sabotage it i can't tell you when you get another blessing that's gonna come through like this so you can fuck it up if you want to but don't say i didn't warn you you need to get your health together okay your health what is this? The sun. Happiness. You need to see the blessing that is being illuminated in front of you. You need to have a more healthier mindset, baby. The sun. The sun. That is another card of being reborn. Do you understand? Come on now. The king of cups. Completion. Do you understand? You are being throned. Hmm. What is this? The queen of swords. The Queen of Swords right here. I understand that you're not happy about having to make these changes, but baby, 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 it is your nature to go through these tower moments. It is your nature to, when you don't understand, to search and research and make it like that's what we do. We're hunter gatherers. We let me let me get another one on this Queen of Swords. The Three of Swords. The Three of Swords. It's like I just it just it's just oh my god. I'm I'm like some people it's just it's just in their nature the the, the self sabotage. Like, I'm serious. It's like to not even see the blessings, to be pessimistic in your thinking, to see more pain and rain than the sunlight. I just, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't. I don't get it. If I have a pinnacles in reverse, listen, why are you focusing more on what you lost than what you're gaining? This is the Five of Pentacles again telling you that the worst days are over. You are coming out of that struggle. You are coming out of that. Stop it with the lack mentality and the lack minded thinking. Stop thinking and feeling heartbroken because you had to let some shit go and some shit didn't work out the way that you wanted to. So what you lost that job. So what you feel like your friend backstabbed you. So what your ex cheated on you. So what you're going through a divorce. If I'm telling you that you're about to come into major success and financial abundance and you're about to have a brand new fucking beginning that is going to be rooted, that is going to be permanent, why are you only focusing on what you're losing, baby? What is this here? The three of wands. It's time for you to move forward. Your ships are coming in. Your ships have come in. It's time for you to leave that old shit behind. And it's time for you to move forward, beloved. Do you understand? What is this? The queen of pentacles in reverse. And it's time for you to leave behind that stagnant energy where you were not able to to make things grow abundantly where you were struggling financially and you weren't able to take care of your kids like this is someone so used to struggling it's like they don't even fucking believe and i want to urge you guys like with this wands like go get y'all some smoky quartz and keep that shit in y'all bra listen i got some i got some crystals in my fucking bra right now pulling them up <laughs> look black tourmaline and, and clear quartz 
my clear intentions i keep that shit close to my heart every day and then i got this um black termini right near my heart look this is in my look right here okay right here next to my heart so i have my intentions set in my crystals do you understand what i'm saying and anytime i start to get into that negative pessimistic energy i got that black termini right there to transmute that shit into some positive thinking so i'm focused on my intentions and my intentions only and i'm not being in that negative bullshit i'm a scorpio so i know what i'm talking about i understand this shit and i ain't i don't resonate with this because i know my blessings are coming in here i'm not about to let my shit be uh-uh i'm not doing that shit what is this the four fucking wands this is the marriage card. This is the celebration card. This is that new stable house. This is that new stable, loving, nurturing, cheerful environment. This is like, listen, this is a birthday party. Listen, ain't y'all birthday coming? This is y'all birthday party. This is like everything that your heart can ever imagine. You worrying about how you're going to take, your fa take care of your family? There it is. They go, your, they go to new husband. They go to new job. They go to new house. They go your kids being happy. That's everything. Do you understand? Look at the two. Look at the two unicorns. You see how he got greenery in his mouth and she got greenery in her mouth? Gas, nigga. Gas smoke out this mouth. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Do y'all understand what I'm saying, Scorpio? Please get past the lack. I swear, if you, listen, I don't know about you, but I know about me. I'm, I'm accepting all my blessings to come in. I ain't about to self-sabotage a motherfucking thing. So any of y'all that is not ready for this new beginnings, I wish y'all the best. But I'm moving ahead. And I know the vast majority of my Scorpios that's in this chat right now, they're like, oh, uh, 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 uh. -uh. I'm, I'm looking towards the sun. I am not worrying about no three of swords. I am not. Be Listen, no. We don't resonate with that. Ooh. This says twin flame. Passion ignites, but y'all know I don't believe in that twin flame shit. Y'all already know I don't believe in that shit. That is toxic. That is the word of the devil itself. We want to say soul connection, soul union, soul union. Your passion has been ignited. So if you did divorce with that ten of cups in reverse, if you did go through a divorce settlement and that's the money that's about to come to you, whatever, you understand? New love is going to be brought to you. A new soul connection is going to be brought to you. You see, the dove above is going to bring a lot of peace and harmony to you. Do you understand? Your passion is going to be reignited. You got to understand it. You got to know that. It says when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories that you share with those that you love. Do you understand what I'm saying? So if the only thing that you can hold on to and think about is how things are not going to work with that queen of wands in reverse with that queen of no that's not queen of wands with that queen of swords in reverse if that's the only thing that you can think of is how you don't know how you're going to do things and you're not sure of yourself and stuff like that the only thing that you're going to have when you pass is memories so if the only thing that you can circulate in your mind is memories about how you self-sabotage yourself when you lay in that deathbed when you lay in that casket you're going to be the only one that's responsible for what you did and what you didn't do in your life do you understand choose peace in your life don't choose bullshit like don't do that don't do that what is this a message for you it says i am thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light. I love you. That's messages from your new, from your new love. You know, when one door closes, another one opens. This is a message from this new love that is telling you that they are coming to you. You will be married again. You will have commitment again. You will have happiness again. You will have joy again. But you have to understand, listen. This is a moment of completion. And whoever this person is coming, it's probably going to be another goddamn water sign. Another case of Pisces Scorpio. Do you understand? You had to complete a phase in, in your life. And you had to take this adventure and go on this new journey to create new memories. New abundance in your life. Again, it says, dare to do things differently. Manifest your travel dreams move to a new location i told y'all all new everything do not sabotage this blessing y'all 
let me get one more card for you guys for these love oracle cards here let me get some let me get some more and then we up out of here you guys do not let your past hold you back prosperity is ahead new love is ahead this person is watching you right now as we speak this person says i am thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with life i love you do you hear me complete this phase so that we can go on this new adventure y'all what is this the five of swords in reverse that was a double-edged sword that you just left it was a lose-lose situation for everyone now it's time for you to realize it's time for a compromise you know this is you sitting down with your spirit guides and compromising with them and saying you know what i was my own worst enemy in this situation because you know where you were giving me an opportunity to see that I could put the I could, I could put the swords down and stop battling with them myself because this is someone that's battling within itself. This is a, this is an internal spirit battle. This is an internal spirit battle. What is this? The two of cups. It has something to do about an unrequited love. Like someone just went through a breakup. Someone just went through a divorce. You know, you are having to come to the terms. You are having to. You are literally having to come to terms and come into realization that every person that comes into your life is not necessarily there for keeps at all times. Some people come into our life to teach us things so we can move on to new phases in, in our chapters in our life and implement those lessons that we learn from that adventure and, and go towards a new adventure. Do you understand? But you got to come to a compromise with spirit. You got to stop fighting with yourself internally you know the number five represents change it represents conflict it represents freedom it represents travel it represents being adaptable being quick with it listen five of swords quick with it being able to think fast on your feet listen this shit was a double-edged swords and upright it was a lose-lose situation for everyone. Let me just cut myself out of this situation and just come to a fucking compromise that this shit don't work for me. That this was not the love of my life that I thought it was going to be. And what is this saying? The Eight of Pentacles. Let me stop working on this and work on myself, baby. Stop. Keep trying to fix something that is broken, Scorpio. The more and more you put in your energy and the more and more that you put in your emotions and thinking about this and trying to work on something that is already broke once it's broken it cannot be fixed do not waste your energy you are going to self-sabotage self-saboteur the six of wands do you understand you are going to come out at the end of this situation the victor you are going to be celebrated you are going to be acknowledged you are going to be a hero do you understand what i'm saying because you taking this risk and doing what you're doing you are going to be the prosperous one at the end. As long as you don't self-sabotage your blessings, Scorpio. So listen, I'm going to go. I'm going to, and listen, and then there go that Hierophant. Didn't I tell you the Hierophant was somewhere in this motherfucker? I told you. And that's also the marriage card. But more so, it's a card of learning. It's someone teaching you something about a new way of living, a new standard of life. That's better from you. I feel like some of you guys were dealing with some real low vibrational toxic ass shit. And you just was used to it. And it's like, that's just like, okay, I'm going to give y'all an example. Then I'm going to get the fuck out of here. That's just like, say you meet somebody, right? Where you was, you just came out of a very toxic, abusive, emotionally abusive relationship, right? And you meet someone new. And this person is courting you. This person is nice. Let's say you ain't even got no money to buy a whole bunch of shit. This person is like, I ain't even tripping. Like, come on. Our first date can be a shopping date. We can go get you whatever the fuck you want to make you feel comfortable. So you can get out of the house and start enjoying yourself. You know what I'm saying? This is healthy. New beginnings. You understand? Healthy new beginnings where you can... Be within your nature where people are willing to nurture you. Where someone is telling you that you can take a time out. Let me take care of you. You understand what I'm saying? This is a completion. I'm here to help you complete this stage of your life. Everything is okay. I got you. And with this person being so nice and so courting and so doting to you. You go back home to your friends and shit. And you call your friends be like, yeah, 
I like him and shit like that, but he's too fucking nice. I don't know. Like, what you mean he's too nice? I don't know. What you want him to beat you and mistreat you like your ex or some shit? Like, what the fuck are you looking for? What do you really want? Do you want happiness or do you want to keep dealing with the same shit? You understand? Don't be one of them idiots because I'm trying to tell you. Look, people, I, I hear, listen, I got a cousin like that. If it ain't a nigga beating, mistreating, and using her and abusing her, she don't want it. You understand what I'm saying? When people come into her life and try to show her a better way, a way of life, they too nice. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Why? Because you want drama? Why? Because you want chaos? Because that's what you used to? Listen, if you know better, you do better. And that's what a hierophant is, is trying to teach you a better way of living and a better way of life. But we're not going to fight with you, Scorpio. If you want to stay back there in the misery, if you want to stay back there in the pits of hell, we're going to let you, baby. Because I don't know about you, but me and my other Scorpio boos, we're going to that prosperity and that abundance. So I'm going to bid you a bye, okay? If this video resonates, click that like button. If y'all want to book a personal private reading, y'all go ahead and click that about tab. Send me a message on Instagram if you don't have a message uh, if you don't have instagram send me an email at scorpionres at gmail.com i'm out accept your blessings